What's up, ladies and gents? This is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today, it's Friday, so it's not my day, it's your day. And this is the day that we've been waiting for. The first Zure visit after the April update. Brand new exotic gear, brand new exotic weapons, all kinds of hype stuff that we've been looking forward to, so we're going to check it out. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. So yes, sure is in the reef. This door is not closed. It's not locked. Somebody's over here. That's always a good sign. And we're going to go visit Jur and see exactly what kind of new goodies and gear he's going to bring us. And what the crap is this? Is this real life? Jur, you've got to be kidding me. This is your troll inventory for us. We just had an update, and you can't bring not one single piece of new gear to Guardians. Not one single piece of new gear. Absolute troll. Absolutely. I thought for sure we were going to get at least one brand new thing. But here we are on our Titan with the Helm of Saint-14 instead. Though, let's be honest. Helm of Saint-14 is a great helmet. An absolute monster of a helmet. Though, honestly, now it's still looking like it's at 280 defense. I really thought this gear was going to be bumped up to at least 300, maybe 310, but that might have been a bit generous. 300, though, at least I thought for sure his inventory was going to be at. Pick this up if you don't have it. It's an absolute monster. It's a solid A, especially in PvE. In Rage, you're going to want to have it on. Nightfalls, you're going to want to have it on. But in PvP, it does have a little bit of potential too for those people that like to rush into your bubble. So Helm of Saint-14 is good. And on the Hunter, the Young Omkar Spine is really good too. It's another really solid, really amazing piece of gear for your Hunter, specifically your Gunslinger. So you get to wear a skull on your arm, and that makes you pretty badass to start from. You've got this skull on your arm, and what you get to do in year two is you get to throw two trip mine grenades with this gauntlet. You didn't used to do that in year one, but in year two, not only do these last longer, but you get to throw two of them. So you're going to toss them out in your PvP map. They're going to sit around forever, and some silly enemy, some silly guardian that's not paying attention, is going to run into your trip mine grenade, and you're going to be getting free kills all the time. These are amazing. Whenever I rock out my gunslinger in PvP, I wear these because they are so much fun, especially with a high discipline build. So much like the Helm of Saint-14, these also deserve a solid A. Solid A, yes. Jure did not bring anything brand new, but the gear that he did bring, if you don't already own it, buy it. Now moving on to our Warlock, we've got the Starfire Protocol. Much like the Helm of Saint-14 and the Young Amakar Spine, these are awesome. Except they are not. They are not. Though they do let the triangles on your chest armor grow in size whenever you breathe because texture and skinning. <laughs> but no, unfortunately, the Helm of Saint-14 was great. The Young Amakar Spine was great. These stink. You get an extra fusion grenade, which means that you could pick to put a burn on your warlock, or you could choose to pick Angel of Light. But you really don't want or need either of those. If you're rocking out the fusion grenade, you're going to be getting one-hit kills on Guardians anyway in Crucible. So if you want the burn, it's because you picked Firebolt or the Solar Grenades, not fusion grenades. So this is pretty worthless. If these actually gave you an extra grenade where you could have three on your Sunsinger, that would be ridiculously amazing and overpowered, and these would deserve an A. Instead, they deserve a nice F. They're completely wasted and worthless. You don't need this because you get an extra fusion grenade anyway whenever you pick it in your Sunsinger perk tree. So, for the armor, we got gear that we already had before, and I thought for sure we were going to get an Ingram. That's why I was saving up my strange coins because I thought we might have had an Ingram. I'd buy a couple and decrypt it. Instead, we get the bad juju. And yes, Bad Juju has been around for a long time in this game, in the Taken King update. It was actually the first weapon that I bought with my Legendary Marks. It's a pulse rifle that fires in full auto. Whenever you get a kill, your weapon reloads. You also get an increased damage buff and your supercharges. Yeah, this gun is amazing. This gun's amazing in PvP, in PvE, especially whenever you're doing the strikes. It's really good. Talk about exotics that one, look exotic, and two, feel exotic. This gun has absolutely everything you would want from an exotic gun. So Bad Juju deservedly gets an A, and it actually makes me happy and sad at the same time. I'm happy because this gun is amazing, but sad because why aren't all exotics as exotic feeling as the Bad Juju? Such an amazing perk set. 
As far as the other stuff, don't buy those Legacy Ingrams. You will not get a Zen Meteor from it, so don't even try. I'm just going to go purchase some Three of Coins here, because I was saving a bunch of them, but I've been using a bunch of Three of Coins, and I'm going to continue using them throughout the week, whether I'm doing the Prism of Elders, the challenge, or the level 41 version, whether I'm jumping into the Trials of Osiris, or normal Crucible matches, or Heroic Strikes, I'm going to be popping a lot of these Three of Coins. I've still got a lot of exotic Ingrams to get, and a lot of things to decrypt. Since we got the new update, there's a lot of stuff that I'm still looking for. I still have zero Prison of Elders exotic weapons, and it's not like I can buy them from year one in my blueprint station. They just won't come over. So I've got a lot of stuff to look for. I've got a lot of stuff to grind. Look at this guy with his Void Hunter Cloak, that lucky, lucky guy. Me, I'm rocking out my Chroma helmet on my Warlock, and it looks pretty amazing. I turned it into a red Chroma because that's all I owned, and I think it looks pretty sharp with this loadout. It looks pretty good. But that's it. That's your no new stuff, but the old stuff that he brought is pretty amazing. Well, except for the Starfire Protocol. So anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your zure. And I'll see you around in Destiny. Year 2, April update, sure. Where you at?